Are you guys so excited? Because we are. We Cookie Fest is gonna be just awesome. Like, we're very nervous about it, but we're so, so excited. So hopefully you can make it February 26th. Um, but right now, something I do every Monday is I build out with Christine, who is our social media like content creator um, for Fat and Weird. I kind of sit down and build out what the week's gonna look like for her posts and stories and what we're trying to like push. So this week we're having a Black Friday sale. It'll be over by the time you're watching this, so I'm sorry you missed it. Um, but so I'm building out the schedule for that and then I do have to build out the cookie schedule, like the cookie flavor schedule for um, December. So getting ready to do Christmas flavors. I'm a little bit behind on that, but our Christmas flavors are always really good. And yeah, so don't miss out on those. And what else? Oh, and then trying to also push Cookie Fest to by the end of the week because we'll have everything up on our website. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, you can go like check out, buy tickets, that kind of thing. So. It's gonna be a busy week. So my car never tells me that it's empty until I'm like 20 miles to the gallon, or 20 miles until empty. Don't look at my pin, guys. Yes, it's a debit card. Don't look at my pin. Did you see it? All right, guys. While my gas... Literally dented my car. I can't do this one hand. This uh, this sucks. You have to hold it here. Comment below if this is your pet peeve, because it's mine. All right, I was gonna tell you guys that next week we're going to Montana, and I feel like I don't know how we're gonna fly with Letty. Like that's my biggest thought for this week is how the heck or what do I need to prepare for that flight? because she is everywhere and it's like seven hours of travel, so. Okay, <laughs> so I made my PB&J protein shake. Um, I've been having this lately. I take vegan protein, peanut butter, and then the reds and blues that just came out from PD Science. It just has like a lot of good vitamins and stuff. Um, I put that in there and it has a berry flavor. So it's like peanut butter and jelly, but Austin's going to try it because he's never had vegan. So he's kind of scared of that. And then, um, he also, I just want him to see how the PB and J tastes. Maybe I'm crazy, but I love it. What do you think? It's pretty good. Um, I told Aubrey that the peanut butter flavor is a little overpowering, so I would do maybe another half a scoop of this, but overall it was really good. I would use the whey just because I like whey. Way cool. Way men. So this is a painting that Aubrey's brother made for her, and for like he's had it done for probably six weeks, and we were trying to get it shipped down here, and it was so big that the only way to ship it was via freight. So it just took a lot longer to work it out because when it came to like shipping it via freight, Aubrey's like, you need to help me with this. So um, we had it shipped down here via freight and it got here. So now I'm gonna take it to her. Wait, what? What's going on? What is that? Is that the painting? Oh my gosh, dude, did it make it? <gasps> wow, it's already here? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never been so excited. Okay, so this is a painting that my brother made for us. Like he legit made it. Painted it. Painted it, texturized it. Like he is the best artist that I know. Sorry, I'm really excited. Wow. Wow. That thing is huge. I did not tell. <laughs> well, I knew it was going to be massive when the dimensions came in. This is it. So, I wonder if should we do it that way or flopped? I want to hang something up in the office to cover up this electrical panel. 
I'm gonna hang a whiteboard up, but I've been having trouble figuring out how to still access the electrical panel with the whiteboard on the wall without having to like take it down. So I found these hinges that are like flush mount hinges. So we're just gonna see how it works. So a trick that I learned to drill pilot holes is you wanna hold the screw behind the drill bit and you should just see the threads. And that's like a good size for the pilot hole. So that's a trick I learned. We're shortcutting, and shortcutting usually means we're gonna have an issue, so we'll see how that goes. We got this, come on. Do you think I need to? No. I don't need to. I actually hope we hit a stud. I forgot there's plywood decking on this entire wall, remember? Do you know what I'm talking about? The whole wall is plywood decked, so. We may not be hitting a step, but we'll be hitting plywood. Same thing. So. Didn't want to say it, but you said it earlier that normally when we shortcut things, things go wrong. Yeah. Really this weird. is the first time we've done something and nothing went wrong. Oh, yeah, I feel like it went okay. Yeah. Um, Looks great. Because we always mess up with something and I have to start over. Yeah, for sure. We, we usually do. Yeah. But it looks great. Good job. Oh my gosh. Wait, so am I able to write on this? Yeah, but you have like an Aubrey list? No, but open it up like you're gonna get to the breaker. Yeah, let's say you need to flip a breaker. Pull. I just break it. Cool, so there's a magnet on it. Babe, how did you do that? Wait, did you like how like did this come like that? I'm so confused. Well no, I made I did this. I made Right, this. so you made you ordered those separately, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I put them in. You're a genius. Yeah, look at this. Isn't this gold? Cool? You like it, Letty? Ah. <laughs> All right, so mom life today is feeding snacks so that I can get through the end of this meeting. Ashley and I are meeting. Um, we just talked about Cookie Fest um, influencer invites. So we're sending like special boxes to people to invite them officially and hopefully a lot of people will be able to make it so that you guys at home, if you follow somebody that you really love, that's one of our influencers, you can come meet them and see them at Cookie Fest. So that's what we just got done talking about. And now we're talking about subscription. You can't fit all of those in your mouth. <laughs> subscription boxes and what we want to do if, if we're going to do those for cookie, cookies. So that's what's going on. But this keeps her happy, so. So we may be selling the camper. Um, there's someone that's interested in buying it and you know, we're not really road tripping anymore. So it's just been sitting here. It's been used as like an apartment home for my aunt for a couple weeks whenever she was waiting to move into her place and then Derek and Ashley use it for a couple weeks before they're waiting to move into their place. So, um, yeah, so I'm just coming through and need to take some pictures and send it over, so. Okay, I'm unboxing all of these matching Christmas pajamas. I'm gonna throw them in the wash so that we can try them on. Um, but it brought up a good point. I think a lot of people wonder about like, like how do collabs work with other brands? So these are Hannah Anderson, um, which is a really, really like high quality brand and they always do matching Christmas pajamas. But anyway, how it works typically is um, a company approaches you or like their agency that they're using to market approaches you and they're, they, they kind of list out what they're, they would want you to do um, if they wanna work with you and then you can like say yes or no. So I'm pretty picky. I don't um, work with a lot of brands, especially ones that like just don't make sense for my page and you know what I'm all about. Um, but this one I for sure like wanted to do. I think these are so fun to have like matching Christmas pajamas and then um, 
photos in them too. But uh, so you can agree or not agree, you can negotiate terms or whatever you wanna do. Um, and then uh, sometimes it's paid, sometimes it's just free product. Um, and then sometimes you have to like record um, like pre-record and submit that and then they approve it. So um, I don't love to like have scripted ones where you're like required to say certain things. I just think that that's so unnatural and I like to just talk about like what I actually like um, about the product and that kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, you post and they can use it for ads. They can, um, like I said, pay you for your stories or um, yeah they can continue to work with you so i guess yeah hopefully that kind of gives you a sense of how it all works but look how cute i got some for brad too so i i never thought that he would wear matching christmas pajamas um but he's like if it matches letty then i want to wear it so anyway it's super fun I have disinfected my entire house and it's only 7.30, it's only 8 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. Um, but Brad got sick last night. He has the stomach bug, which on Sunday when we got together for Halloween, a bunch of like the kids and uh, his sisters got sick, but like we never did. So I don't know if he thinks it's food poisoning, but I eat everything that he did and I didn't get sick. So I think it's the stomach bug. So I hope that I don't get it. I think Letty kind of already had it. She's all the way over here now. But anyway, I'm having a great day regardless. I just can't go in the bedroom. So I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get ready for my day, but that's okay. Um, I got in some new Nespresso pods. This one's peppermint pinwheel. I'm super excited to try it because I also have peppermint um, mocha creamer. So I'm gonna do that try that for you guys and then what else was i gonna say yeah we're just gonna try to make it through the day without brad fake sip i always give her fake drinks in my coffee wow that's good so normally i have just regular coffee with this creamer i just got this the other day um but this is like double time peppermint Letty loves it. It's gonna be a good day. She actually did love it. She's like, I need more. You don't get more. She looks so emo. Like we need to find a picture of Brad when he was all emo and stuff. And recreated. And, and just put him side by side. <laughs> you guys, I'm not holding on to her. Like I don't really know how she's standing. She's probably gonna fall soon, but you are no a daredevil. Your foot's gonna come out of that hole. No hands. Oh my gosh. I don't know how she's so big. I think they fit, yeah. This is like with no socks. Cute. Cute, Letty. I don't have to return them. Should we flash back to the last time you ordered shoes from Adidas? Flashback to when I ordered shoes and I thought that they were like women's shoes so I ordered seven and a halves and then when they came they were seven and a half men's. They almost looked like too big when I... Yeah, what the heck? They, they do look kind of long. You have to like size down. What are these? Male? What is going on? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? This is not correct. Aww. It was so sad. They were the coolest shoes too. I thought they were cool. So Christine is working on the like confirmed guest graphics um, for Cookie Fest. So I wanted to show you that. This is the one for the Baileys. So Dalen and Rob are confirmed guests. They'll be there at Cookie Fest. Sick. Good job, Christine. Killed it. Actually, it looks really good. Killed it. I <laughs> held my breath the whole time. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, downstairs, super cool. We have the local like pastry class from the college here. And so Austin's gonna show you a little bit of that. I don't know, I just think it's cool when we get to do that kind of stuff. So check it out. Mm -hmm. I am alive. I feel okay today. I'm just tired and obviously dehydrated and have this is the first thing I've eaten. We did the math. I think it's literally 38 hours. Other than like four saltine crackers. I bet those tasted good though. You saltine crackers are dry. I, but when you're sick with soup? <laughs> yeah, ooh, they do. Yeah, but they, I didn't have they soup, hit. I just had the saltine crackers. They hit different. We also had a discussion about when do men not want to have sex? Because even on my deathbed, I'd have done it. You guys, our billboards are live. Well, hopefully they're live. We're going to go see one. In the flesh. Ready? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Oh. Hold on, we'll do our stories. We're here, we're here, we'll we're do here. Our first. What? We're here. Oh, the Come here. Come here. I think she thinks. Can you see it? Can't get stable. Uh, uh. You want to face that way? <laughs> she stood for a really long time. But... Hey. 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 Oh my gosh. She's getting crazy right now. I don't think she wants to. We can just show you the clip that I recorded on my phone. You stink too, girl. Um, it is Saturday morning. Um, I talked to Dr. Ramsden. He has an IV clinic here and he's going to give me like IV therapy because I feel like I just haven't been able to drink enough fluids literally on Wednesday night and Thursday morning when I was sick, like all day Thursday, I just like, laid in bed and I didn't drink much at all and yesterday i maybe got like a half gallon of water in um and i'm just like really tired still so i'm gonna go do that and see if that helps me feel better so i figured i'd take you along with me so let's go so just got done with my iv at the anti-aging clinic um, dr ramson is going to bring me a little sheet of everything that was in there um, cause he's like do you want a fluid iv or do you want me to mix you a special cocktail and so we have a special cocktail right here okay so we got the uh the recovery athlete drip, which we have some absorbic acid in there, some B12, B complex, magnesium, triaminos, um, L glycine, L carnitine, L tornine, and glutathione. Yeah. I can tell you I already feel a lot better. Like I feel like more alert. Like I could like taste it in my mouth too. I don't know. Is that a normal like IV thing to be able to like taste it? That's the magnesium. Yeah, I could taste it. And so. I feel, I feel way better already. So highly recommend it if you're ever sick and you're in Panama City, come check out the anti-aging clinic. First swimming lesson. Our one, two, three, go. We also use that with the cups. It helps them um, learn the only time to see it in the water is when the adult says that it's safe. It also helps them understand the signs. This is where my brother's painting ended up for right now. We're gonna hang it, but we have to get our walls repainted. Um, that's another story for another day. Um, but just to recap on this week, Cookie Fest, uh, all of the information is hopefully going to be up by the time that you're watching this video or like shortly after. So just pay attention to our Instagrams. It's gonna have like ticket information. It's going to have just more information about like who's going to be there as far as like special guests that you can come meet um but we're really looking forward to that and we want to get there or we want to get as many people there as possible and brad and i love meeting people and talking to people so if you're interested in coming please 
buy a ticket, plan your trip, come to the beach February 26th. Um, another thing, the matching pajamas from Hannah Anderson. Um, I have a code, it's AUB10, and it'll save you 10% off for, uh, on top of like their already like sale going on, um, but it's only available for the next 48 hours, so make sure to hop on that if you want matching Christmas jammies, because they always sell out really fast. What else? Oh, swimming lessons was great. All right, that's it. Um, we'll see you in Montana for the next vlog, right? Okay, cool. Remember to subscribe if you haven't so you can see Montana. Like this video, comment below, and you're worth it.